Well, yesterday was National Teddy Bear Day, and one woman in Salt Lake has lovingly earned the name Grandma Bear. As photojournalist Aubrey Schaefer shows us, she found a reason to celebrate teddy bears every day. In downtown Salt Lake, there is an apartment that is bursting at the seams with new family members. And they're identical. It was quadruplets. So we have Tom, Bill, Henry, and Zephaniah. And that's not all. This is Giovanni, and he is a concert pianist. And there are many, many more. And this is Bonita. At the head of this family is Linda. She's just beautiful. <laughs> I had no idea that I would lose my name of Linda Ray to <laughs> Grandma Bear, <laughs> but so be it, <laughs> it happened. In just over two years, Linda has made over 2,500 bears. These are my children. She takes them in, no matter their state. This little moose has to have back surgery. And shows them unconditional love. I put them in a washing machine, dry them and brush them out and set them on my counter. And then I just stare at them. What are you? What are you? It's as if the bears speak to her. This is Atticus. He decided that he wanted to go into space and he picked out a vest. It's a labor of love. So we sewed on some spaceships. Made bittersweet because these bears are only going to be living here for a short time. Then I will deliver them by the end of the week over at Ronald McDonald and Primary Children's. They are destined to be adopted by boys and girls who need them most. And that's hard. I, f I miss them. And then I start all over again. Two years ago, it was actually Linda who needed these bears the most. And sometimes there isn't a whole lot to smile about. She was having heart troubles, and her doctor told her she would be physically limited in what she could do. I couldn't get off that couch for two solid weeks. And I realized that I was terribly depressed. And at 83, I thought, I have no life at all. So she did what she had done her whole life in times of trouble, turned to God. I got rolled off the couch, got on my knees and said, I need some inspiration. If you want to just give me one word, that would be fine. Well, the next day he did, just bears. So then I recanted and said, how about a paragraph? <laughs> I don't know what it is you want from me. But then it came to her. She knew what she had to do and got to work. Creating something that will hopefully bring a smile to a little child's face. After she drops off the bears, she isn't able to see them being given to the children. But she hears stories and knows they're making a difference. Because they aren't bears you will find in a store. This way the children have a gift. They are made with love. Grandma's special love. He's ready to go and be in the arms of a new owner pretty soon. I've just found something that I can do with the health conditions that I have. I can still reach out and touch other people's lives. Aubrey Schaefer, KSL 5 News. What an amazing woman. Well, Grandma Bear funds this out of her own pocket and with the help of donations from nonprofits such as the Oliver Fund. If you'd like to donate, we'll put a link on our website, ksltv.com.